most ranked Seacrest. Now, later on tonight, you'll see what happens when we set up a guy to win big money by kissing total strangers. Okay. You won't want to miss that. Erica? But first tonight, meet Aurora Avales, a loving mother who wants nothing more than to see her beautiful 25-year-old daughter get married. And she's not too picky when it comes to the choice of man. Also starring Georgina Avales, she says whenever she introduces a date to her parents, her mother's first question is, so when are you getting married? Georgina is here to set up her parents on Ultimate Revenge, but primarily her mother, who is always pressuring her into getting married, right? Yep. Now, why is she always doing that? She wants me out of the house. So you're living with your folks? Yes, I do. Okay, well, why are you still living with your folks? Well, save money. <laughs> How many times a week does she talk about you getting married, do you think? Almost every other day. <laughs> what type of guy does your mother see you with? Businessman, has money to take care of himself and everybody else around him. So we're going to invite them out to a lovely little dinner. And they're going to meet your new, quote, boyfriend, Hal, right? Correct. How do you think your mom's going to react to all this as it plays out on television? It can go hot or cold. Heat it up, baby! And what kind of man do we have in store for mom and dad? Let's take a look. She's 25 years old. He's 53, older than her father. Now, she's Catholic. He's Jewish. She's calm and friendly. He's bipolar and nutty as a loon. She's in PR. Good job. His work? Self-employed, buys and sells, uh, I don't know, stuff. Okay, we're all set. It's early evening, and Georgina's folks are just walking in. Well, I can't tell you how excited I am to see you. Remember, they know absolutely nothing about their daughter's new boyfriend, and they just noticed he's an older man. You haven't? She hasn't told you much about me, huh? No. Well, we met in March at the National Hispanic uh, Press Association Award Show. I was receiving an award. I saw your daughter, and to be honest with you, it was kind of like lightly struck me. I just thought she was absolutely gorgeous, and I had to meet her. I just, um, I think the world of her. I think she's absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I think you guys have done a great job. Well, thank you. I, and I understand you have three other children, right? Yes. Three. He's a little older than Mom imagined, but Aurora likes what she hears. And Terry, right? Mm -hmm. That's great. That's Hi, great. folks. How are you tonight? Good. How are you? Uh, can I start you off with something to drink? Um, let me have a martini straight up, please. Okay. All right, now, Georgina leaves to get wired up with a microphone while Hal entertains the folks. So, Georgiana hasn't told you anything about me? Hal, it's Georgina, not Georgiana. No, that was a surprise. Let me tell you what I do, okay? okay. I buy distressed businesses. Uh, if I think I can turn them around, I put an offer in to buy them. I bring my people in, turn the business around, and then I resell it. It could be anywhere from diamond wholesalers to T-shirt manufacturing companies. So, um, I've been doing this for a number of years. I've been doing it for about 20 years now. And, um, thank God I've been very successful. That's how I got involved with a lot of the charities. Um, I'm a very big donator to a lot of different charities, and that's why I was receiving an award. Hmm, well, he may not know my daughter's name, but he seems like a good provider. Hi, honey. Uh, welcome back. Sorry to interrupt you. Are you Mr. Sandler? No, I am. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but you have a phone call? No, not now. I'm, I'm busy. Uh, they said that it was urgent. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, I, you I don't give a damn. That's the end of it. Damn. Aurora's thinking, okay, this guy's sorry. a little on the edge. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you. You guys want an appetizer? Excuse me, what is this? Yes. Uh, it's a martini. Uh, th no, this is supposed to be a vodka martini. You asked for a martini, and martinis are made with gin. No, no, I know what I ordered. I ordered a vodka martini. No, you ordered a martini. I'm sorry, sir. You you're, probably don't remember. You're going to sit here and argue with me? I will ask for a vodka martini. It wasn't my mistake. I'm sorry. You have a problem with what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm I, I do have really? a problem. Really? Take this. Uh, just an accident. Hal never does this at home, I sorry. promise. I, I just cannot stand it when they argue with you. I cannot stand it. You know what? I, I may be nervous because I'm meeting you guys. I'm sorry. I've got something I want to say. I, I know that we've talked about this for a long time, about being serious with one another. And we said we'd wait till I met your parents. Now that I've met your parents, I'd like you to marry me. How? What, honey? What do you mean, no? Get it. Get it. Yeah. What do you mean, no? Put it there. Whoa, hold 
on, stop the show. She's saying, get it? After seeing this lunatic throw the phone and spill the drink, she's saying, put it on? Georgina's right. Mom wants her married off at any cost. Aurora Avalez is here to meet her daughter's new boyfriend, Hal, and he's just proposed to her baby girl. I'd like to marry me. Now, she's thrilled. Even after witnessing Hal's flagrant temper, it's all part of Georgina's revenge because Mom won't quit nagging her to get married. What do you mean, no? Watch, Hal's crushing the box. Are you sure you want to make this guy mad? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm going to put this here. You look at it for a little bit. I'm oh, sorry, I don't mean to shock you. Oh, Georgina's well, dad I'm spots trouble, and it's headed his way. Uh, long time no see, Hal. Why you hang up the phone on me, stupid? George doesn't seem at all intimidated by our thugs, but Mom looks a little scared. You know what? Guys, I'm, I'm with my fiancé here. Okay? Well, and her parents. Be your dad. What do you mean your fiance? You, know That's you need to focus for. your attentions right there. Guys, we'll handle this later. I told you, okay? You got no money for me, but you got money for a ring, right? Guys, look, it was look. a done deal. Two minutes outside. I really apologize. Two minutes. I'm not kidding, okay? Two minutes. Guys, you're gonna have to excuse me. These are Aurora's wondering if she's gonna have to invite these guys to the wedding or not. What's going on? I'll handle it, honey. I'll be right back, okay? No. Excuse me. Let me handle this. I know. I don't know anybody to do that. This is a weird guy. He's weird? Yeah. So you know what? I like him. Do you like him? Yeah. Why that? He seems like your type. He seems like my type? I I like it. Seems like a, like a, you guys make good cup of tea together. Uh, but let me see the ring. Can I say yes or no? Ay, ay, ay. Now Aurora sees this couple outside, but she's more interested in that ring. Dad's had just about enough of this mess. Excuse me. Take out a gun. I have a, I have a permit. One of the businesses I bought was a diamond wholesale business. You deal in diamonds, you, the law says you can carry a gun. These guys, they're trying to be thugs with me, and I'm not putting up with it. I apologize. I'm just I'm just not putting up with it. Listen, I would give my life for you, okay? I think you've witnessed that. I love you. I told you I've loved you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please, will you marry me and be my wife? Please. This is it, Mom. Your baby girl's about to become a married woman. Yes! 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 yes. Georgina gets a husband, and Mom and Dad get the house to themselves. Yes! <laughs> but there's just a bit more. You're on television. Would you please explain what the hell's going on to your parents here? <laughs> Tell them why they're on Ultimate Revenge. My mom always comes out like she was instigating right now. Do it. Get married. Go yes. for it. Say yes. yes. <laughs> now, what'd you think of Hal? He's great, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> mom. Dad. There's Hal right there. He seems like a good guy. Hey, hey. Catch your breath. I think mom still wants her to marry me. Yeah. <laughs> that mom said, keep the ring. Yeah, keep the ring. <laughs> now, these other two gentlemen work for us as well. They're really not as scary as they come off. And, and, this, and this gentleman right here is Chris, Chris Waller, the U.S. Olympic team. That wasn't you doing the flips? That was you. You actually, good job on the flips. Thanks, that was a good time. Your daughter's still not getting married. <laughs> Why are you always pressuring Georgina into finding a husband and getting married so quickly? She's 25 years old. 25 is young! When are you getting married? When are you getting out of this house again?
getting married. Then why all the pressure? Because you can't. <laughs> Do you still want your daughter to get married? Yeah. To whom in the room? Uh, let me see. Can I pick? <laughs> yeah, you can pick. Who would you like? That's that's the other part of the show. We give away a husband. I still like him. <laughs> she likes you. I like mom also. She grabs the ring right away. Like, you can take it. <laughs> We have approval to buy you uh, some dinner, so enjoy dinner on us. Congratulations on your daughter still being single. And thank you guys all. Excellent job. Put that gun away. Put that gun away. You're making me nervous. Oh, come at me.